Cambridge. And just look at the seminar you're actually running, the Cambridge uh, seminar. When is it taking place? Yeah, the Cambridge seminar is taking the first weekend of October. And it's laying the ground for being able to achieve the highest possible grades or score you can get in the new academic year. Because each year there are new tools available to us. If you don't update yourself on the tools and use the tools of yesteryears, you've severely disadvantaged yourself. So if you're thinking of topping your class, it's a useful um, exercise for you to, uh, to attend. If you're thinking of applying for scholarships in any of the competitive courses or competitive universities, then you must do yourself that favor. You must know what are the multiple ways of getting into any of the universities. What do you need to do? What subjects do you need to take at what level? Because some people are totally oblivious of what a, a group of subjects will lead to. So they choose subjects on the basis of passion for each subject rather than how that aggregates to a particular profession. So if you wanted to read medicine, would it be useful for you to do biology and physics and then not do chemistry? Those are some of the questions you need to understand very clearly early in your educational journey. If you want to read engineering and you're shying away from maths, what are the consequences of that? Uh, we, 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 read, we had a report um, yesterday. In one of the top grammar schools in the country, we have only just one girl studying physics at A2. Just I mean, one girl? Just one girl. And most of them are dreaming of doing a technology related subject or uh, an engineering subject. I mean, you cannot pick psychology, no matter how useful that subject is, and hope to be able to read engineering, doing psychology and sociology. So each student is armed with the body of knowledge they require to be able to achieve their dream profession. And that's the reason why any parent or any child that is thinking of doing any tertiary study must book a place. Book a place to prevent bright and it's free except the VIP ticket. So there are no obstacles, there are no financial obstacles for anyone who wanted to get or receive knowledge and interact with current students of Cambridge postgraduate students of Cambridge, current lecturers on Cambridge. So you have the opportunity to be able to ask as many questions as you can about what course you want to study way ahead of time. Thank you, Dr. Chris. Well, viewers, remember this is Education Talk, and we are talking about undergraduate studies at the university and the tuition fees. If you are facing challenges regarding your tuition fees and you need scholarships, you can actually apply to the South London College or log on to www.theimafidence.com for more information.